Hello, this is Emo Pikachu 93 here, and today is patch day, or actually it was yesterday. Uh, I had work, so I couldn't actually um, make a video on the patches, but patch, just one patch. But it has lots of stuff to it, that's why I say plural. Um, Batista's at it, we'll get him into him in a moment, but let's start off with general updates. Armor, beam type damage is now reduced by 20% when hitting armor. Meaning Zarya and Symmetra will do less damage against armor. Um, considering armor was um, reduced as it was, um, now only takes three damage off per hit instead of five. Um, I think it's fair, uh, but damage over time effects are no longer mitigated by armor. Um, which I think means armor has no effect on things like Widow Mines and uh, Anna's Bullets, Anna's Attack Fire. I'm not sure. Um, I wish they would use better, um, uh, these simpler words for me because I'm a high school dropout and I get confused by big words. But damage boost. Damage boost is now applied to uh, when a projectile is fired rather than when it hits a target. I.e. Uh, Farah and her rockets. Her rockets used to do damage. Used to be damaged when damage boosted. It was applied when the rockets hit the target. Now it will be applied once it is fired. Meaning Mercy can switch to healing her. While the rockets in flight. And it will still have the damage boost. But Farah will be getting her chiclets healed. And uh, she'll need it because everyone wants to shoot. Liberty out of the sky. Um, uh, as, as is if you can hit her. Um, I'm in gold. We can't seem to hit Farah, so that's a sad life. Um, I hate Farah. Okay, I'm glad. Well, this is not a nerf to her. This is actually a buff. I still hate Farah. Moving on. Knockback. Knockback distance is more consistent. They don't tell us how, but it is more consistent. Um, <laughs> and heroes that are flying are now knockback or slowed. Haha, <laughs> take that flying whore. Um, Farah. Diva, they can now be um, CC'd in the air, it sounds like. You. You're not immune to the hell that's on the ground. Uh, I do hope the knockback consistencies that they talk about doesn't nerf, like, Junkrat and his concussion mine. Uh, I enjoy those random quirks where I can throw a concussion mine and... Boop Ryan off the map when he's charging at me. Um, I did that my last uh, five moments. You should watch that. There is a new sound. Well, there's two new sounds. One, when you hit while damage boosted. And one, when you hit and it doesn't do anything. That's because Batiste adds a invincibility... Uh, adds invincibility to the game. Come on. Sniffles. I was not feeling sick until I start recording. Um, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so new sounds, we'll just have to get used to that. Hero updates. Anna, nano boost heal reduced from 30, uh, from 300 to 50. Um, that's sad that they, uh, are new, ner nerfing grandma. Noosing, oh my god, that's horrible. Um, stop nerfing grandma. Uh, giving nano boost an instant heal effect enables players to survive longer and made Anna's ultimate valuable. However... It needs to be slightly less effective. That's just that's what they say. It's like it's quite valuable ultimate. Let's make it more. Let's make it less effective. Is this how they felt against Mercy? She's too strong. Nerf it. Um. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll calm down now. Um. Yeah. The reasoning behind nerfing Anna, I kind of hate. But, honestly, it's not a huge nerf. You'll be still a good-ass healer. Uh, Doomfist, a rising uppercut and seismic slam. Cooldowns reduced from 7 to 6. Reducing downtime on of Doomfist ability should make his gameplay feel more fluid. Or make his ass OP. Hanzo's Sonic Arrow Detection Radius. Increased from nine to, or 7 to 9 meters. Now... Doesn't sound like much, but let me um, just open up, jump in, area, I want to say his, um, 
his um detection um shape is a spear. Um so the old value was seven, which is um an air a total area. Um yeah, total area of six hundred and fifteen point seven five meters. Um sounds like a lot, but honestly you're only using half of that when you shoot an arrow into a um surface because you know that on the other 180 degrees of that surface that there's nothing there because you're looking at it unless you just shoot your sonic arrow whenever you want like me um <laughs> just i just want an arrow to hit i don't care if it's sonic or not um <laughs> but that's the old value the new value is 1017.88 and if my um, quick math is correct, that's about a 40% increase just from 2 meters radius. Um, so, wowzers. <laughs> uh, I like the change, honestly. Uh, it's a slight buff. It's giving more info to the battlefield. So, I think that's a good thing. The information war is not... It's something people don't care about sometimes. Just shoot heads lol is what everyone mainly thinks. So, Lucio, sound amplifier, sound wave now counts towards offensive assists. Uh, this just gives credit to Lucio when he boops people into a bomb. It's like, that bomb wasn't going to hit, but then here comes Lucio, so you go, boop, and everyone dies. Yes, he deserves credit. Um... I like it. McCree, fan hammer damage reduced from 50 to 55. So they are nerfing McRight click. Good. But damage per second increased from uh, 275 to 550 after locking onto a target for 2.5 seconds. Now, honestly, I did not know this is how um, Deadeye works. So after you lock onto a target, the damage ramps up the longer you don't pull the trigger. Um... I did not know that. Um, I thought it was, once you locked, insta-kill. Cool, cool. Um, Deadeye's ultimate is um, hard to use sometimes. Unless you're me and you're always out in the open. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it's that big of a um, buff to him. May. Endothermic blaster, primary fire increased from 2.25 to 2.75 um, damage per second. Or, or just damage. It, it becomes a um, 45 to 55 damage per second increase. Okay. Um, so May is stronger. She'll do more damage while freezing her ass and then spike to the head. Um, not sure why they had to buff that. I mean, I, I love some love, May love. I like May like that intensely. Uh, her ice wall has been reduced, um, 500 to 400. That's per pillar. Honestly, I thought it was more than 500. It always feels like it. Like it stops an even, a diva nuke. Oh, dyslexia where it's so hard. Um, Moira. Now, this one confused me at first. Her heal over time duration increased from 3 to 4 seconds. Now, Lil, if you did not know, when you um, you pee on someone as Moira, it actually heals them over time. It's not um, what you apply is how much you heal. You spritz them, and they'll heal for it was 3 seconds. Now, it's going to be 4 seconds. Now, it used to give them 50-plus healing even if you're not constantly peeing on them that heal over time it used to give them 50 over 3 seconds now it'll give them 65 it's actually less uh, someone did the math it's, it's actually com comes to 16.25 healing per second instead of 16.66 so it's it's a balance um, but interesting to know that you can pulse your heal and you'll actually be getting some 
heal over time effects and not use up your um your your pee bottle all the way. I don't know what the hell to fucking call it. Um so Yes, heal Moria's passive healing effect. I did not know she had one. <laughs> Arissa. Fusion driver movement speed penalty while firing reduced from fifty to thirty. So if you didn't know when you're firing as Arissa, you your speed's reduced. Um I like that they reduced this um, penalty to 30. 30 sounds like a better number. Now, Forest Rocket minimum explosion da damage increased from 16 to 20, which also confused me because, whoa, that's a 20% increase on her um, damage. But no, it's it's the minimum damage. So if you're... Far from the impact of the rocket, it only used to do 16, now it'll do 20, which is only 4. Um, it's not a flat up increasing her damage by 20%. It's just increasing that number, the fall off number, by 20%. So, interesting. Interesting. Um, Farah might be more of a flying cunt. <laughs> Soldier Soldier's pulse, pulse rifle Damage increase from 19 to 20 And the delay from That you can fire your weapon After sprinting reduced from 0.5 to 0.3 Honestly 0.5 did feel clunky I hope 0.3 feels better Um, Honestly I feel like If I sh immediately after I Stop sprinting I should be able to fire But Blizzard doesn't think that way and it can, tech visors can now target Riptire and immortality fields. Um, honestly, I thought he could do that already, but apparently not. Uh, I rarely throw a Riptire against a soldier in tech visor mode anyway. Uh, I don't see many soldiers. Maybe this will bring him uh, more prominently back. I hear that... It, it's a reversal. He used to do 20, but now they drop it at 1. Um, it just means you need one less shot. Sombra, her hack. Cooldown reduced by half when hacking a health pack. These are a lot of um, buffs and nerfs. And I'm getting tired, but we're almost there. I think Wrecking Ball's the last one, yeah. So, um, Sombra, yes. It was useless to hack a health pack sometimes. It felt better to hack people but now that you'll have your hack back in three seconds instead of the whole six or seven after hell after hacking a health pack might um be not might make it worth it it would make her gameplay more fluid so i got i was in the habit of um hacking health packs for a long time until i realized it's not worth it um and it just slowed me up for a while, like six seconds is a long time to do nothing. Uh, so I like that. Torbjorn. Torbjorn. Base health increased by 50 armor. What the fuck? They, they took it from his overload ability. Um, overload only came up every 10 seconds or so, I think. Now you constantly have 50. Um, I don't think the balance is correct, but it's, an, it's a huge buff to Torb. Is it the buff we need it? I'm not sure. I, I really don't know. I, I honestly... I, this was a random buff to Torb to me. <laughs> I don't think we needed it. <laughs> Alright, Widowmaker Infosite reveals enemy health bars now. But, when Widow dies, the the ult is cancelled. Um, if you didn't know, if you're a Widow and you popped Infosite and died in instantly like I do, um, your team would still have the effects of Infosite available to them. And I think you would too if you got out of spawn quick enough. But, um, usually you didn't have it because spawn times... Um, so, I like that. Makes sense. Um, 
enemy health bars revealed. A uh, new mechanic. Very interesting. Um, Widow's Ult is another um, information ult. It's really used to know stuff. It, it, I mean, it can help in a 1v1 duel with the enemy Widow. Uh, but it's, 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 it's just an ult that provides information. It doesn't buff your attack. It doesn't give you lock on ability. It doesn't throw a big-ass explosive like Pulse... Pulse was pulse bomb and rip tire. Like it's no big boom. It's just I see you. Honestly, I think we need more ults like that. It would make I mean widow's ults not as effective as our headshots. Headshots win games. That's why everyone says just hit shit and win. But I think that sort of Gameplay is is uh, is nice, and lastly, we're not going to go with bug fixes like a f call outs of bug fix when need healing call out wouldn't display in chat. We know you need healing. You have a big red plus over your face. I didn't even notice that was a problem. <laughs> uh, but wrecking ball, his his buff, his adaptive shield no longer cancels roll mode. Um, that's great because he is more effective in his ball than out of his ball. And being able to pop shields and be in ball mode is, it makes him more fluent. It makes his gameplay more fluent, which, um, is, that's, he's all about fluidity. But, um, all right, let us, uh, let us get into the actual PTR. Oh, I need to switch. Um, need to switch my window. Um, right uh, here. Should pop up. There we go. Overwatch. And let us look at training first. Might be a little laggy. Um. Literally not letting the game warm up is not good. So, but we're in. We're just going into. So this is his primary fire. The three round burst per click. Um, it has recoil and knockback. Well, no, no knockback. He's not getting. He's not getting flung back. But there's recoil. Um, which sometimes makes aiming difficult. Um. The time in between burst, I feel like it should be slow, uh, quicker. I feel like it's slow. I'm holding down the mouse button right now. This is the this is the fastest he fires. Fastest he fires. Um, I'm averaging like three direct hits per kill. But that's his primary fire, and that's his only way of attacking. He is a utility guy. This is his secondary fire. It's a grenade launcher. Um, it has. It feels like it has less arc than Junkrat's launcher. It's almost um, aim straight ahead and shoot instead of lobbing. It does about 50 per round, 50 healing. It does not damage enemies, which is a shame. I, I kind of wish it did. Now, I'll heal these guys for a second, and I'm going to try out the Immortality Field. What that does is it makes you in immortal. You cannot, your health will not get below a certain number. That is the number it won't get below. This gives you time to heal up your team, or forget you reload it, or forget to reload and your team dies. Now, shift is an instant AOE, AOE, AOE healing. It heals you and your teammates around you. I like that. It's um, it's basically Briggs 
AoE healing on cooldown. It's night. It's better now. You got two abilities that prevent you from dying, and that heals you. So now this doesn't heal; it just stops you from dying. So using it on full health targets, not the best idea. But I feel like they're quite similar abilities. Except one he doesn't heal. But it's like an AoE health station that just pre prevents death. Now you still gotta heal him still. You can use this. Um, you can output a lot of healing if you're um you're hitting you're using your cooldowns. I, I, I kind of like him. But this is in practice range, of course. We do need to try him out on the battlefield. His ult, we're going to use here. It doubles the healing projectile and damage projectiles. Now, only... There's only two healing projectiles in the game, one of which is his own, his needs. And then there's Ana's heal, healing shots. Biotic rifle. So the healing effect, the double the healing, not as important as double damage, so I need to Let's get that ult back up again and we'll show. Yeah, I found that it's honestly really hard to hit. And I think I really think the time in between shots should be less. Maybe like by one like point one second. But here we go. If you can hit, you can kill. It also works two ways. But it does not last that long. I wish it would last a little longer too. That's my feel on that ult. The cooldown of his immortality field might end up being increased. I feel that's a possible nerf to him in the future. Because what is it? It is... Tw oh, 20 seconds is a lot, I guess. I totally ignored that one robot. Whoopsie. Um, I guess... Ah. But it's only 10 seconds after the bubble is down. So it lasts for 10 seconds. That also, that lasted for 5 seconds. Again, I wish the, um... That's what I gotta remember. Right click does no damage to enemies. Alright, let... But we've, uh, we've checked out what his abilities are. Let's go and try him out on the battlefield. And I'll wrap this video up. Alright, I didn't talk about the um, character. So he is from the Caribbean island of Haiti. I, like, I don't want to call it an island. It's connected to Dominican Republic, if I'm correct. But um, he's from Haiti. Uh, he lost his uh, parents in the Omni Crisis. I uh, became an orphan. I'll just go into the car and talk. Uh, he became an orphan. I'm at fighting condition. Um, <laughs> he alludes to having to make difficult choices in life, one of which was joining Talon. Uh, but it seems like with the um, teasers that he uh, abandoned Talon to, um, well, help those in need, those like himself who were victims of the Omni Crisis. And I kind of like that, but I like... I, Everyone says he's a ripoff of other stuff. Like, I don't feel that. We are in a skirmish, yeah. This is some intense skirmishing. I stepped out of my, my bubble. Um, 
but no, I really like his um, backstory. I feel there's a lot of uh, lore that could be. Um, they could make an animated shirt with him, is what I'm thinking. I want to know more about him defecting from Talon. And why was Sombra hacking into the um, database? That jump did not help me. <laughs> Here we go. Into an actual game. Welcome to Rialto. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. Oh, and he's a hit scan support. We don't have many. We've got Anna when she's scoped in, but I think that's it for um hit scan support, so this that's kinda cool. As someone who struggles against Farah, he might be um an answer if you don't if DPS doesn't want to you know retaliate this combination I think is not good against you I think it's worse <laughs> um ah I gotta hold the F1 yeah it doesn't say how much damage it actually does Everyone signed their life insurance policies. <laughs> Everyone signed their life insurance policy. Uh, uh, pol apology. Policies. I like it. Um, God damn, why do I want to add G to that word? You're fully healed. They are fully healed. Good, good deduction. <laughs> Oof. I wanted to heal myself with shift. That didn't work. Yeah, that Genji kind of fucked us up. Does that mean Genji counters him? Genji countering something without just, you know, being a sneaky ass ninja bitch? No, we never have playing Genji. Slice at me all you want. Oh, I was not in my bubble anymore. Nah, we're here to test out Batiste. I'm not gonna switch. I'm trying to make a video here, guys. Deal with it. I just smashed you in the face. That bubble is slow, but thank you. Maintain that positive attitude. Oh my god, my latency is so high. 100 milliseconds is a lot. Alright, I got my ult. And ult's damage, the damage boost of the ult, um, um, stacks is what I want to say. All right, my waste and my ult. Stop. 
Batista they got they got two we got three I'm running into a tree an umbrella It doesn't help when you get pooped out of it. <laughs> he is very defensive from um, based hero. It's not, it, it, like he plays well with a bunker comp. He, just, he has only one offensive capability. It's not a bad offensive capability, but it's not the best. that would go away. Alright, cancel. Uh, you don't get to use the super jump much. But it does help. Have, oh, they killed it. Oh, man. They did the smart thing by killing it. I think he should pop... When the immortality field dies, it should um, pop up in the kill feed. Yeah. This is something to easily forget about, his exo boots. I kind of forgot to show in the um, actual training room. Yeah, hold down control. Let's focus on actually healing my team. I'm gonna say, where's all the enemies that's holding us back? Alrighty, well. I think that was a good demonstration. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, leave a like subscribing check me out facebook twitter all that great stuff and uh stay tuned for more